you're always wanting to pick out the most you know genius influences you can think of um, like I could mention Nabokov or Flannery O'Connor and uh, I'm sure that those people have influenced me one way or the other but Flannery O'Connor in particular when I was young I, I remember when I first read her as a teenager I was really taken with it um, but I think you're influenced also by all kinds of stuff you know you're, you're influenced by people that you don't think are very good um, I remember once years ago somebody asked me snidely quite clearly meaning this is not a compliment so are you influenced by Erica Jong and I said I didn't think so but in fact I probably was because I, I read you know Fear of Flying came out when I was 17 years old I read it I mean I, I doubt it was a big influence but simply because I sucked it in and absorbed it and at the time it was unlike anything I'd ever read before um, a lot of people felt that way about it that's why she you know became a big author for a while um, but I think that you're influenced by all kinds of junk as well as all kinds of great stuff and sometimes a mad, something will influence you simply because it hits you at a certain time when you, you need to make a certain kind of turn or twist or it'll just affect you. It'll open up something for you in a way that um, it wouldn't a year later or a year earlier. Um, but I, I can't, I don't know if there is anybody that's, or there's somebody I've always identified with and, and she isn't, to me she isn't a great writer but I think she's very good and I think it, and she has her moments of greatness is Catherine Ann Porter. Um, pale Horse, Pale Rider, um, some of her short stories. Um, th there is some, I do see something there that's similar. In my mind, it, it is similar to me.